Hello again, everybody. Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues today. We head to Champaign-Urbana. That's in Illinois to talk to a guy who's going to be heading to Iowa City, Iowa, back to where it all began, as it were, for him in his college career. He's been named the new head coach of the the uh, Hawkeye Wrestling Club. It's Mark Perry. Mark, hello. How you doing? Good, man. Congratulations. This is a, uh, a huge move by Iowa, in particular the Hawkeye Wrestling Club. The RTC Arms Race is for real. Regional training centers uh, are the focus on, of so many major programs. How did this uh, conversation get started, and how did we end to where we are today? Um, I think... You know, Coach Brands and those guys have been thinking about, you know, taking the Hawkeye Wrestling Club to the next level. I mean, anyone that knows, you know, the Brands brothers and just Iowa as a whole knows that, that they don't, you know, they don't like to lose. And, um, you know, they haven't had the success lately that they want. So, you know, it was just kind of the, I think, the obvious obvious thing they needed to do and they wanted to do. And they reached out to me, um, you know, um, after the NCAA tournament and, you know, once I kind of got, got my, uh, head, head, you know, recovered after nationals and stuff, you know, we started talking more and more after the U S open and the vision that, the, where they want to go. And, and with the Hawkeye wrestling club, I mean, it, it was a no brainer. I, you know, I was all, all about it. A two-time NCAA champ yourself, both in 07 and 08, a four-time All-American at Iowa. You have been described by many uh, as a Tom Brands kind of guy. What do people mean by that? I mean, I just think we, you know, this, this, uh, you know, our family, um, you know, our faith in wrestling. I mean, it, it's at the top of the, you know, food chain, and I don't think. I mean, so, you know, obviously there's a lot of people that um, have a passion for what they do and this and that, but there's really, there is no hobby, you know, there really isn't any hobbies or even if I was ever off doing something else, my head, head's always, you know, kind of wrapped around wrestling, thinking about it, um, thinking about, you know, ways of trying to help either people or more importantly, help the sport, you know, continue to grow and get to that next level. And just making people aware of, you know, how special how special this thing is. It's interesting to see so, how so many former Hawkeyes are now involved in in regional training centers. The most recent that will be announced has not been yet announced. That Steve Mako will be making a move to. Uh, hmm, well, I can't really say where, but it'll be an announcement will be made in the coming days that he will be heading up a uh, regional training center as well. Is that the future uh, of the top programs in the country? Is that the game changer? Um, I mean, you know, I, I think it can be. I think it definitely can be. I think for wrestling fans, you know, that, that, that you know, a couple years ago and even still now, there, there's an arms race in, at the collegiate level with facilities. But, you know, a, a, what does a facility really do? It, it's a perk, you know. It's nice for high school guys, but, you know, when I was growing up, I mean, my dad would put me and my little brother through stance in motion in the garage on concrete, you know. So um, I think at the end of the day, you're when you're investing into the highest level of the sport, you know, that is our professional level. Um, you know, it's definitely a big, big advantage. And, um, you know, the more programs that invest into that, the better, f you know, for us, I mean, I, I've said it a couple of times, just coming back to Iowa, it, it's the Mecca, you know, if there were, if, the, if it was the NFL or if it was, you know, uh, major league baseball, you know, the way I look at it, it is the Yankees, you know, just snagged me up or, um, you know, the, the Patriots or something. So I'm all about it. You know, I'm all about it. It is tough. It's going to be a lot of work outside of, you know, the wrestling parts, the fun part. Um, but, you know, making sure it's sustainable and making sure that you're give you know, at least for us at Iowa, we want to make this thing special. And that's why it was an easy choice is, I mean, anyone that knows Iowa wrestling and just the state has really been there. Um, there isn't another state like that, you know, and I don't know if there's many places that I've been besides maybe one or two, maybe that, that even even appreciate wrestling at that level at worldwide so 
it's definitely going to be an awesome experience for me and, and seeing it happen all throughout the country. I mean, I couldn't be happier for wrestling. It shows growth. It shows we're moving forward. You know, back in the day, the original Hawkeye Wrestling Club, you, I mean, it was, it, thick. Thick. it was very, very thick. In other words, there were a lot of people in the room and a lot of them had earned medals, world medals, Olympic medals, uh, NCAA championships. Guys were hanging out and hanging in just to be around the greatness. Do you perceive that to be, do you foresee that to be something that uh, the Hawkeye Wrestling Club will not only aspire to, but return to with gusto? Absolutely. Uh, I, I, you know, I'm a confident person. I've always been confident, and for the most part, I've always delivered. Um, you know, so we're, we're coming in to, you know, change the game. I mean, it's really that simple. Uh, and we're, we're going to be smart, you know, and strategic about it and make sure we make the right moves. But, you know, we want to create something that, you know, is very, very unique and special in the sport. And, you know, Iowa wrestling has been there um, in the Hawkeye Wrestling Club a couple times before. But heck, why not? You know, let's take it to the next level um, and let's make it sustainable. Let's make it continue. Let's make it, you know, where it doesn't slip. And that happens on the business side. You know, I know from the coaching standpoint, when you think of, I guess, basically the Hawkeye Wrestling Club staff now is Tom, Terry Brands, who are two of the greatest American wrestlers ever. And myself, who, you know, didn't compete after college, um, you know, mainly due to a lot of injuries, but my uncle is the goat and I've been around this and studied the sport probably as hard as anybody, you know, that that's, you know, standing on this planet right now. So it's going to be a heck of a, a heck of a ride. And we're, we're confident, you know, it's just being, being smart and strategic and, and taking our time. You know, you think about wrestling 24 hours a day. I've known you a long time and wrestling is always something you're analyzing. I know you've got your family, and they support you, obviously, in what you do. But this is what you do. Your hobbies are wrestling. You're, you, you know, you live yeah. it, eat it, breathe it. This is part of who you are. Uh, I don't know if it's fair to say it defines you, but perhaps you define it. Um, let's talk a little bit about what uh, Wayne Eric Boyd, a shirt you're wearing there, Titan Mercury yeah. Wrestling Club, what he wants to do. He wants to take... Uh, regional training center teams and put them together in co in competition competition with each other with money on the line uh have has he talked to you about something like this before yeah those things have been discussed and you know we're we're up for anything Titan mercury um has been a blessing for me you know once i left cal poly uh coach azevedo kind of got that program uh, started down there with Wayne and those guys, and they reached out to me. So from the very beginning at the New York AC, uh, we, I think we had five people, seven people, um, and me and John Azevedo, and uh, it's, been a, it's been great. You know, it's been a great experience being with Titan Mercury, and I think now, heck, we had over 120 athletes at the U.S. Open. So, I mean, that's in a matter of four years you know, um, they come from not existing to probably being one of the best clubs in the world. So, um, and we're they're on, and they're selective, Mark. They're very, so it may seem like they've got a lot of athletes, but these are high level athletes that desperately need support. And Wayne and, and Andy Barth and, and company are opening up their pockets and voting with their cash. And it's proving out that they're right. 100%. You know, without, I mean, without Titan Mercury and without, um, you know, Andy Barth and guys like Wayne Boyd, I mean, I would have never been able to go on any of the international trips or, or you know, go coach um, and experience the things I have in the last couple of years. And not, not only myself, but like you said, the top athletes in our country and not just, you know, not just the men, the women as well. I mean, sure that we have to get more people like that involved. And, um, I think the purposes have to be for the right reasons, you know, and, and that's helping wrestling grow and making sure that, you know, um, these things are sustainable moving forward. So I think that, you know, the, this regional training centers, like you said, popping up all over the place. Um, I love it. You know, I love it. And let's push the boundaries and, and, you know, focus as much on the wrestling side as, like I've said about five times, is just making sure that this thing 
progresses forward and we don't go backwards. I know wrestling is wrestling, but is this a better fit for you career-wise than, say, a, an associate head coach anywhere in the country or a head coach anywhere in the country? Is this position, this job, the club atmosphere, is this a better position for you? Um, I think so, you know. I mean, my, I can tell you right now my heart, the more I've studied it, you know, international wrestling when, you know, with whatever, with Boris and, um, you know, when he was wrestling at the world championships against his Garoff and Romanoff. And I mean, you know, that first year I was a little blind to how good these guys are. And then once I started studying it and figuring it out, um, you know, and, and finding ways to help, help, you know, Boris try to beat some of these guys, you know, I kind of fell in love with the, the skill um, and, and just the commitment and and you know the lifestyles of people all around the world you know uh, kind of thinking thinking outside the box and, and where these people come from so it's just deeper it's deeper it's obviously the next level and um, you know I believe that this is the the direction you know I've been pushed you know um, and, and by God, and I'm excited. You know, I, I think I can make a way, way bigger impact on wrestling as a whole, and and something um, in this position, and especially at a place like the state of Iowa, than I could as a head coach uh, anywhere. You know, it is I just have to do my part. You know, like I like to tell, don't talk about it, be about it. Right. I got to back it up. You know, I got to back it up, and that's what I'm going to do. We're backing it up in the Nike hot seat today with with uh, Chris Perry's older brother. How about that? Have you ever? <laughs> I remember when he won. Was it in Des Moines? And, uh, in Des Moines and Oklahoma City. Yeah, so Des Moines is the one I remember, I think, most when you uh, just grabbed onto him and there are tears of joy coming out of his eyes and very emotional moment for so many that got to celebrate with you guys, even if only observing but um, wrestling is something that runs deep in your family. I'm not sure how one could truly explain it, uh, how you were sent to uh, Blair in New Jersey, Blair Academy. Hey, can uh, you give me one second? I'm a knucklehead. My battery's about to die. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, so, so, while he's doing that, I will just tell you that uh, he said that the state of Iowa is a very different place here. Uh, the level of uh, appreciation for the sport is like none other. And those are Mark Perry's words. Um, that's saying something come from, from somebody who's practically wrestling royalty. Uh, Mark's uncle on his mother's side is a legendary John Smith. His father, of course, Mark Sr., a former two-time All-American at Oklahoma State. His brother Chris, as we just mentioned, won two NCAA titles for the Cowboys in their native Stillwater, Oklahoma. Now at 32 years old, he is well-connected beyond his roots in what he's done at Blair, at Penn State, at Cal Poly, at Illinois, and now back to Iowa where he made his bones as a college wrestler. He will have the ability to affect, again, at 32, athletes that are looking for world-level opportunities, Olympic-level opportunities, and competition on a monthly basis, not just once in a while. The schedule's getting thick for these athletes, and believe me, it's going to be up to them. It's going to be up to these uh, incredible RTCs. He rejoins us now, uh, fully powered battery, uh, Mark Perry. <laughs> I don't think I've Sorry. ever, ever had that opportunity to somebody do that. <laughs> yeah, Sorry about that. But I was looking late. I was talking about whether or not, you know, if, if, it's a, if we're even able to describe that um, growing up, uh, in the in the Smith and and uh, Perry family, uh, and knowing what that's like, because I don't think there's anybody else in America that can honestly say they've experienced that. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're just I think grateful. You know, obviously, you go through certain phases in your life where, like anything, people can put, you know, self induced pressure um, on themselves or. You know, you, you can turn anything that's a positive really into a negative. But, I mean, for me, I, I was just always, I lived in the moment. You know, I, I think I'm not, you know, sh sure with some of my cousins and my, you know, my brother. But, I mean, it was always the thing for me to do is, you know, I waited all through school thinking about going to 
practice and then knowing after practice I might get to go up to Oklahoma State and watch practice and just be surrounded around those guys. Um, you know, since, since I was a little, little kid at, you know, University of Nebraska and Oklahoma State and then being at Blair and Iowa and, you know, experiencing what I have experienced in coaching in the last 10 years. I mean, you know, I, I'm just grateful and I know that, you know, that this is what I'm here to do. And I, I'm, you know, the purpose for me is a lot more than, you know, accolades. It, it, it's to help wrestling and, and hopefully, you know, get people to experience this, you know, some, some, some of those similar things that I did. Obviously, you're not going to come from the, that bloodline, but um, it's, it's special. It's and magic. Beautiful. You know, there's only one, one guy I actually do an impression of. Are you aware of this that I do a spot on impression of your of your Pat? uncle Pat? <laughs> yeah. Did you know about that? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's good. Even I know. Pat Pat will I... bring somebody up and say, Scott, uh, he'll say, Scott, you need to do like take off of me for Kenny. For Kenny <laughs> Monday. He says he says, Do me, do me. It's uh it's perhaps the funniest impression in in wrestling that I do anyway. We're talking with Mark Perry. The news is out, of course. He'll be heading back to Iowa City, Iowa to take over a brand new role, really. This is one that was not uh even described in and around the Hawkeye Wrestling Club, but he will become the new uh head coach of the Hawkeye Wrestling Club, a position funded by donations from program supporters, and it was Friday. In Iowa City, elbow room at a premium, a record number of, of attendees. People say more than 350 people packed into a banquet all Friday to fork over not only cash for a dinner buffet, but to bid on auction items and hear about a bold new vision for Iowa's wrestling future. And Mark Perry definitely is that. I would be remiss if I did not ask about Isaiah Martinez. Whether you can comment on movement, comment on transfer, or comment on the future, even if he stays at Illinois, but does he have a future with the Hawkeye Wrestling Club? Um, I sure hope so. You know, I, when, anytime you're at a college and you leave, I mean, from a co from, from my perspective, that's been you know some of the hardest hardest things I've ever had to do. I mean, even out of high school, obviously telling telling my uncle John, but not even just my uncle John. You know, Minnesota coach and you know. Um, Michigan, you know, the, the people that were recruiting you, oh, you're not going to go here. And obviously being a coach, you know, leaving Penn State, even the first year telling Quentin Wright and Frankie Monero, um, you know, that, that oh, I'm going to go elsewhere. I mean, those are not fun conversations. You know, it wasn't fun uh, at Cal Poly. It was m terrible. And then obviously I've been here longer than anywhere I've, uh, um, so far in my coaching career. You know, a lot of these guys uh, I recruited and, you know, they're excited right now. They have a really, really um, tough team. You know, it's probably quite a – I mean, we return eight guys and the two guys we lost were, the, the, you know, Illinois is filling them with some damn good wrestlers. So, I mean, it stinks. You know, it stinks. But I didn't – I don't really go there. You know, I don't really go there with those kids no matter where I was at um, about – it's just business. It's how it is. And, you know, a lot of people like to talk about that kind of stuff and, you know, um, different kind of scenarios. But for me, this is all about, you know, wrestling. And, and I don't want to put that in, in, you know, any kid's head. Um, at the end of the day, everyone has to make their own decisions. And Isaiah is the kind of guy that will do what's right by, you know, for himself. And, um, but definitely, you know, I think once the, the his collegiate career is over, um, I mean, I'm going to be knocking at his door, I'll tell you that. <laughs> or calling him or texting him. Uh, uh, you're, you've been known as a proven fundraiser. Did it at Cal Poly, did it at Illinois, did it everywhere you were. You're a commodity. Uh, money, uh, in, in the wrestling world, it was often said that there is no money available. I disagree. I've disagreed for 20 years. I knew there was money there from inside and outside the sport. $2 million has already been raised with the goal of building a standalone wrestling facility. The current facility is no, <laughs> there's no knock on the current facility. It's one of the top five nationally. But um, Iowa needs a place of its own. And even as much as Roy J. Carver dedicated so much money to build Carver Hawkeye Arena and salute the great Dan Gable, 
I believe I believe it's time, don't you? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think that's the that's the what they're talking about in the plan. Um, like you said, their their facilities are already one of the top, probably five five in the country. I would I would say. Um, but heck, hey, whatever Coach Brands wants to do, I, I, I'm I'm good with. He needs, you know, he wants me to raise money um, for the facility. I'm all about it. We're gonna raise a bunch of money for the Hawkeye Wrestling Club, and then we got more money to raise. You know, even when that's done, I mean, we you know, this is time's on our side. What where, which direction do we want to go as a sport? And like you said, uh, people can talk about how it's. You know, there's not money or it's a poor man's sport or this and that. Whatever it is, yeah, it is when no one does anything. Right. But if we go out and um, especially the Hawkeye Nation, if they work as one and unite, I mean, good luck for any team trying to keep up with. I mean, it's just the numbers, you know, the numbers and the passion that is through that program. This isn't a, a, a decade. You know, this is. A, a lot, a lot, a lot of years, a lot of history, um, a lot of good times, you know, some bad times as well. But I mean, I'm very, very confident that um, the Iowa fans um, and, you know, the community, the wrestling community as a whole, we can do something very, very special there um, that just pushes, you know, pushes the bar to the next level. And, and at the end of the day, it helps, helps wrestling even more moving forward. Was the hire of, of uh, Kevin Dresser at Iowa State and the subsequent hire of uh, some of your former teammates, obviously, and, and uh, you know, just some very well-known and, and very highly respected guys, uh, did that help move Iowa into a, uh, uh, I don't want to say hurry-up offense, but uh, did it help to build the case, as it were, when Zadick, St. John, and Metcalf were hired by Iowa State? Um, I, w- I would imagine Maybe I don't know exactly what's clicking uh, through Coach Brands' head. Like I never mentioned it one time. They never mentioned it. I could really care less. Um, you know, that's not in my thought process. But at the same time, like I couldn't be more excited for Iowa State in the in the sport of wrestling and former teammates, coaches, friends. Sure. I mean, I'm fired up for those guys. You know, um, I don't know if that was what made you know. Pr- pushed it to to make i would do something but um regardless it happened but hell yeah i mean that that's awesome for iowa state you know it's only going to push everybody else sink or swim you know you you either evolve or you become extinct and um you know i'm 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 real excited for the state of iowa as a whole it'll be fun um you know um battling those guys and uh, the, sorry, on the collegiate side and on the freestyle side, it always has been. It's been a little lopsided um, lately, and hopefully we can make it even more lopsided in the future. But I'm definitely happy for uh, you know former coaches and friends that you know that they got a good opportunity to um, do something special down there in Ames. Let's talk a little bit about the World Team Trials here in this Nike Hot Seat interview as we head to the end of this first interview with you in your new position. Thomas Gilman will join fellow Hawkeye Wrestling Club members, Nick Dardanes, Chris Dardanes, Nathan Burak, Bobby Telford, all at the World Team Trials June 10th in Lincoln, Nebraska. Will you be there with them? Uh, Yeah, yeah, I'll be over there, um, you know, doing my part and helping those guys out. I'm going to, it's been pretty chaotic here lately. Um, You know, I haven't really done... uh, not much media stuff or wrestling stuff this last week or 10 days. I've just been one thing after the next, just trying to get that, that transition period of giving back my car and making sure I, you know, cross all my T's and dot my I's here at Illinois paperwork wise and get a house up there, find a car, you know, really focused on all those things. Um, but I'm going to try to get up there on uh, Thursday, Wednesday, and, and you know put a little bit of time in there and help those guys that are going to the trials and obviously going to the junior trials um, as well. And I think they got the university uh, freestyle nationals coming up. So timing-wise, it's not the greatest with the big, big freestyle events coming up. But um, I know they have 
plenty of uh, you know good coaches there right now, and once I get transitioned in there, you know, um, I think it's gonna work really, really well. And even in the short time, I mean, it's Iowa wrestling. You know, they're going to win at universities, they're going to win at juniors, and they're going to win at the the trials. And um, they they definitely got some you know they got some horses in that room. <laughs> and there's never a good time to make change to move. But there's always a good time to add Mark Perry to a coaching staff and to a position that's newly created in uh, uh, <laughs> for the future of the Hawkeye Wrestling Club. It's outstanding, and there's so many people very excited about it. For the sport of wrestling, I'm super excited about it because I know what kind of growth we're going to see. Mark, we appreciate you uh, holding out for us and, and, and allowing us to... Uh, uh, make one of the very first interviews with you ours and we appreciate that i think uh we, we you know how much respect we have for your family and what you've done for the sport can't wait to see what the next page looks like when we turn it in the book of wrestling all right i appreciate it thanks for having me on for all of us at takedown our nike hot seat special guest big shout out to our friends at titan mercury wrestling club and the hawkeye wrestling club as well mark perry's been our guest as even now he's stretching getting ready for some kind of competition i'm scott casper thanks for watching